This month, we're exploring an interesting question. Can you use repelling magnets instead of a spring in a pogo stick? Be sure to check out our blog article for the full details and a bunch of scale model measurements. In this video, we're exploring the real thing, a real pogo stick versus some big magnets. We start out with this coil spring pogo stick and take a measurement of how far it compresses when a 175 pound person stands on it. Let me get a zoom in shot. Then we do the same thing with a lighter guy. It compresses a little less when a 150 pound person stands on it. Using that information, we should be able to figure something out about how much force this spring provides. We also found that jumping on it, we were able to fully compress the spring. This pogo stick we got, it, it's, I think it's for adolescents. It's for maybe 12 to 14 year olds. So us full size guys were really able to easily compress it to the full seven inches of travel. Even our lightweights were able to compress it fully without too much exertion. You're pretty close to the bottom. I, 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 got the, I, I touched the bottom one. In this graph, we make two points. One is the lighter guy and one's the heavier guy, showing how much to compress the spring, knowing their weights. From that, we can extrapolate the force of the spring over the full range of travel. It starts out at about 30 pounds when you first press down on it, going to over 500 pounds when it's fully compressed. Okay, let's get some magnets. We had some two inch diameter ring magnets laying around, which we constructed into this little contraption which was definitely able to hold our weight. With a little bit of bouncing, they repelled and didn't bang into each other. Of course, with a little heavier load and some more vigorous jumping, we were able to bang the magnets together. The travel in this thing is just a lot shorter than what you get on the pogo stick. It's a good example of repelling magnets, but not a very good pogo stick. Here we compare the forces from the magnets versus the pogo stick. You can see the magnets don't travel as much. And for much of the travel, the force isn't as strong. You only get enough force to hold you up right at the very end of travel before the magnets touch. Here we tried to think, what if we use really, really big magnets and a whole bunch of them? This graph assumes you had three inch diameter by two inch thick rings. Really big, dangerously powerful magnets. We didn't want to build this kind of thing because it seemed too dangerous for our little YouTube video. Even so, it shows that even with these monstrously powerful magnets, you don't quite get the strength of the coil spring. Either it has less travel or not enough force. Got it.